know you're looking to grow your subscriber count. And I understand there are tons of videos telling you how you can improve, improve your subscriber count on YouTube. And just because there are tons of videos, I still want to throw my uh, hat in the ring and tell you how we were able to monetize our channel and how we are continuing to use quality content. For everyone that, don't, that doesn't know me, my name is Antonio, and I'm the founder and creator of Team Tigio, where we specialize in uh, social media marketing in addition to uh, website design. And it doesn't matter what type of uh, channel you're trying to establish, what you need to do is understand that you can do the very same thing that others are doing. One of the hardest things to do is just to sit down and stare at a, a camera or a cell phone because you are the audience of one when you start your channel. Now, in my case, uh, we started our channel on the basis of telling others how we, uh, you know, how we ourselves wanted to grow our channel and some of the techniques that we have done. And we want to share with you. So you could say, hey, you could, jo you could join your channel. And I know it's challenging for a lot of people that get out here and they say, well, I'm sitting at 200 subscribers. What am I doing wrong? I'm at 150 subscribers. What am I doing wrong? Uh, I don't think this is working for me. So I'm going to give up. But before you give up, know that there is a task you're going to have to a uh, set of tasks you're going to have to follow to get monetized and to make money on YouTube, you're gonna have to magnify those tasks to make big money on YouTube. So for some people, it, it was easy for them to monetize their channel. For others, it took them a little while longer. So let's go ahead and get dive on in. I call this video, the seven C's of growth, meaning I'm gonna tell you seven C's of what you can do to grow your channel and possibly this video may help you explode. I won't say overnight, but explode where you, where you'll be pretty good in doing your channel yourself. So keep in mind to grow your channel, you're going to need vidIQ or TubeBuddy. You're going to have to learn how to, uh, place high volume tags. You're going to have to, uh, add great cards on your video this is just for me others are just fine with it but we will recommend uh, recommend once you get uh monetized to shy away from profanity because the more you use profanity it shies away from the advertisers that want to place advertisements on your videos and you may you know make less money now you also need to realize that some videos uh, on, on YouTube does carry a different style of weight as far as the type because of the advertisers. Some advertisers pay more money versus, you know, other advertisers. So you need to keep in mind when you dive in what type of channel you want to establish. And remember, you can start your channel from scratch and grow. So let's start with the first C. The first C is something that I touched down already, and that's called courage. You're gonna have to get over your insecurities and, and stage fright where you may feel where I don't talk good on camera. I'm not as photogenic as others. I don't have the perfect teeth. I don't have the best setting. I don't have the best equipment. I don't have the best clothes. People don't care. If you're producing great quality content, people will sit down, subscribe to your channel, and get very excited when they see your face or your thumbnail blazing across their screen. They get notifications on their phone that you have uh, successfully uploaded a new video, and if your video has any good content, they will watch the entire video because that's important for you. If a person can watch your entire video, even going through your uh, uh, commercials, and because the retention rate is very important, the longer a person looks at your video, the longer your video, 
the more money your video will make and the more money you will make. So keep that in mind. Next, clarity. And when we say clarity, when you start in your channel, before a person subscribe to you, you need to tell that individual what your channel is about. Uh, you know, so the niche of your channel is what I'm trying to say. So this say in general, if the niche of your channel is you're a motivational speaker, every time somebody jump on your channel, they're, sus they, they're going to sus suspect that you're talking about some type of motivation. If your video is about pranks, they want to see the new prank for the week. They want to see part two of the prank that you put out before. If your video is about interviews, they suspect that you're going to be interviews comedians. You're going to be interviewing uh, celebrities. You're going to be interviewing personalities, sports, uh, sports jocks, or you know, sports ladies. People want to know what your channel is about. And the more you put that in the bio, uh, more people get an understanding of your channel, the more you will grow. Now, if you got a video and you're talking about you produce videos on pranks, and then the next week you want to put out a video about baking cakes, now you're going to confuse the people that subscribe to you. And, you know, you may see your subscriber rate drop more and more because a person, the time is all you have. People don't want to keep, you know, jumping around. They, if, they, if they mindset is on pranks, produce pranks. Don't produce that you're going on a golfing course, that this, the day this video is about surfing, because now, like I said, you're confusing the people, and that's not going to be helpful for your channel. Next, let's talk about channel. Let's stick on channel. Now that we're going to talk about clarity and niche, let's talk about channel. Now, your channel needs to stay consistent. You need to tell your subscribers the days that you're going to subscribe, uh, upload videos. So if you're uploading videos Monday, Wednesdays, and Sundays of every week, you need to stay consistent because your main subscribers will, you know, hold on to the very days that you are uh, subscribing. I mean, that you are uploading videos. You cannot upload three videos this week, take a week off, and then upload three videos uh, uh, the next week. This is, un understand people, that this is going to be time consuming. If you working with a party of one or a party of two, understand that one of y'all going to be probably recording, the other person going to be editing, and you're going to have to keep the train uh, afloat. And understand that you are probably going to work for free of uh, many a days when you start your channel. You're going to be start for free of uh, many a days because your channel is not monetized and there are ways that you can make money off your channel even if it's not monetized and certain lawyers certain uh, real estate developers and real uh, realtors are able to do that but for most it's a one-track mind i gotta come up with a thousand subscribers four thousand watch time hours or i'm not going to make money some people are able to make money with their channel even without holding on to the google adsense so keep that in mind Make sure you organize playlists. You, YouTube provides you with an endless amounts of playlists. So you may have some subscribers because your niches, you may have two or three niches on your channel. So just say your niche is about, uh, uh, you know, you a car hobbyist and you, you know, you always want to talk about the new car. So have a playlist talking about all of the Lincolns that you have. Then have another playlist talking about all of the Cadillacs on your channel. Then if you want to talk about all of the Porsche and all of the Passats and all of this, have different playlists to make it easy for your subscriber base to find your content. It's really easy, folks. It's really easy, but you just got to push through and understand that your channel needs to be organized. You got, it's like your playlist is like indexing how you are producing your content to make it easy and before you know it you might your one video may have 10 views and then you explode with 30,000 views because you produce different content and the good thing about it is if a person sticks on your content about Porsche and you got 10 videos about Porsche the likeliness of them sticking on that channel I mean on that playlist and watching all of those uh, videos is, it, it might remain high so you might obtain nine other watches on the additional views just by you know producing great content initially 
And let's talk about content. <laughs> you know, let's dive in this. This is the next C we want to talk about. The way I look at content is there are tons of people already produce things that you're planning or doing. If you're already starting your channel. As a matter of fact, if you produce a video and your video go and you get a million views on that video, chances are you're going to have 75 people already attempting to do the same thing that you are because as people, we are trendy people. So produce great content. And the good thing about that is you want to plan out your content in advance. You want to do your research, produce titles. You want to produce the content that, that you will be talking about on your video, if you're not going to freelance it or go off the you know the, the you know the cuff of your head, you want to freelance it. I mean, you want to uh, write it down. Have this done stuff done in advance because remember, people, time is all you have. Some people will go ahead and record about five videos in one day because they already had the title and the content already redone. The next day, they'll go to do thumbnails for each one of those videos. The next day, they'll edit each one of those videos. And then now, you got five videos to put out. And while you put those videos out and the content is already written, now you could go ahead and put five other videos out. And consistency is going to be the reason why your channel grows. But if you put out one video, and some people are able to grow off one video, but the likeliness is slim for most. Because people want to see you more, 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 more. Why should I subscribe to you? You have to give them a reason to subscribe to you. If not, people are not going to subscribe. They might look at one or two video. Of course, if you monetize, that does help your channel grow. But please be understanding that uh, that's very important that you produce content consistently. And additionally, have a calendar with the title of your content and the day you're going to you know, possibly record it. And just keep yourself simple. Your time is all you have. If you do not uh, 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 take a hold of your time, you will fail in your YouTube journey. Next, let's talk about community. Community is a big thing. Some people think that you need 100,000 people to make money on YouTube. That's untrue. Folks, the algorithm on YouTube is basic in itself. You need 4,000 watch time hours and 1,000 subscribers you know why they said a thousand subscribers It's because if you got a community of a thousand people looking at your videos if you're producing great content if every thousand person watched that video you got a thousand people looked at that video you possibly have a thousand likes and you can still make money off a thousand video i mean a thousand views on that one video it's simple you can make money on your community in your YouTube community with a thousand subscribers. Of course, we all want to grow and be as big as PewDiePie or T-Series or Mr. Beast or, you know, any of these people that have relevance. Of course, you want to be big. It's the ego of us that you want to be bigger. But a thousand can still put money in your pocket. <clears throat> as a matter of fact, if you look in, into your... Uh, your creative studio, you will see most of your views are not even going to come to the people that's in your community. But your community matters because those are the people that's going to be with you when you start your channel. And they're going to be the people that grows with you as your channel continues to grow. So understand that that's very important that you that when somebody in your community responds to one of your video, you respond back. You make sure you respond back to each and every last person outside of trolls because it's very important to respond back to people to know that you are paying attention to people in your community and word of mouth sales. If one person tells 30 people to subscribe to your channel, now you went from a thousand people to a thousand and thirty people. That's very important. So cherish your community, do right what's about your community and go and go from there. The next thing we want to talk about is cash. If you want to make money off your YouTube channel, you need to do your homework. You need to study the predecessors that's been in front of you. You need to talk about contents that's searchable and content that's relevant. Stay away from trendy stuff. Sometimes